In today's video, we wanna try out something that has always looked like a ton of fun, and that is making elephant toothpaste. Hey, Nate. Yes. We're in a bathroom. Yes. Why are we in a bathroom? Because a bathroom seems like the easiest place to clean up if we make a particularly large mess with what we're doing today. What are we doing today? We're making elephant toothpaste, of course. What else would drive us to film in the bathroom? <laughs> Guys, you've probably seen elephant toothpaste before. It's a pretty cool chemical reaction that results in making a very small bubble foam that just expands really rapidly. And in some situations, it can shoot the foam quite a distance depending on the shape of your container and how much of the reaction is going on. We wanted to play around with it. Other people have done it, but now it's our turn. Here's the basic idea. We're going to be using potassium permanganate, hydrogen peroxide, and dish soap to make elephant toothpaste hopefully in some new and fun ways. All right, so the ingredients are fairly straightforward for elephant toothpaste, except they're not things you would normally think that you would put together. First off, this is from a hair supply store, yes? It is, this is hydrogen peroxide. But it's not what you normally get at the store. You could not pick this up at just say Walmart or a grocery store, why? Well, normally when you're buying hydrogen peroxide, you're getting that brown bottle, and that is a 3% hydrogen peroxide, the other 97% being water. This is called 40 volume, which weirdly enough means it's 12% hydrogen peroxide. Every 10 volume is 3%. So that's stuff you get in the store normally. If they were labeling like that, it would be 10 volume hydrogen peroxide. 20 would be 6%. 30 would be 9%, and this 40 is 12%. Makes absolute sense. So the rest of it is still water, but it's hydrogen peroxide and water, and it's a lot more concentrated. That, that difference, that 9% more hydrogen peroxide, makes quite a difference in how it reacts. And that's gonna react with our dish soap and with our... Potassium permanganate. Okay, yes. fun word. Again, probably not something you can pick up at Walmart, but you can buy it online. I'm pretty sure it's available on Amazon in a few different sizes. It's not the cheapest stuff in the world. I think a container this size costs about 50, maybe 60 bucks. It's kind of expensive, but also it goes a really, really long way if this is what you're doing with it. You've seen this used on the channel before. Granted a video where he explained that potassium permanganate mixed with glycerin, it's a thick clear liquid, they'll actually spontaneously combust just by mixing them together and waiting for a few minutes. We've done this before and we may revisit it again because we have a lot of this stuff. This is still like four and a half pounds. Do you think that if we used all this today, how, could we fill the bathroom? Absolutely. <laughs> but we would also need several dozen gallons of hydrogen peroxide. We would also... Like a barrel full. So the danger factor when making elephant toothpaste isn't insanely high. Like, you don't want to get this in your eyes. You do not want to, you know, get this in your mouth or anything like that. This stuff is not good for you, but for us to simply be making a lot of it today, relatively low so long as we're safe. Uh, so, available on Amazon, kind of expensive, but goes a really long way. Like, we can make a really good reaction using like an eighth of a teaspoon with this stuff. And so we've got it. more than an eighth of a teaspoon. This is pretty cheap. This is a smaller bottle, this is like $3. I have some bigger bottles as well. Those were like $4.50 or something like that. And then one ingredient you can get at the grocery store, this is just dish soap. Pretty much any dish soap is gonna work. Uh, what this does, it actually isn't part of the, the chemical reaction. This is just there to form bubbles. When the hydrogen peroxide and the potassium permanganate react, they put off a lot of gas, mostly oxygen, and that gets trapped in the soap and that's what makes the foam. And it happens so quickly that it just expands in size a lot. So why don't we show that first? Why don't we show what it looks like before we actually add the dish soap so you can see that chemical reaction before the bubbles. I like it. All right. Here I've got a little less than one quarter teaspoon of the potassium permanganate. And I'm just going to dissolve this into some water. Okay, first off, that's the first time I've ever seen it dissolving and I didn't know it was purple. It's very purple, yeah. I'm very happy about this. So that insanely fast reaction once we add the dish soap, it's gonna be those three things that are gonna make that foaming mess. All right, elephant toothpaste reaction. Three, two, one. <laughs> it's a very quick reaction. That's so pretty. Now the purple is actually unreacted potassium permanganate, and so if I pour more hydrogen peroxide on, it will keep reacting to it. All right, we're trying this again. This time it's in a bottle, and that's because the bottle 
while it has a fair volume down here, it constricts a lot. So hopefully as that foam expands, instead of just raising up out, we'll actually get a pressure buildup and it should hopefully shoot out the neck of the bottle a little bit more. Maybe we'll get a nice column of foam. Maybe it's just gonna kind of spray sideways a little bit. We'll find out. We're putting our hydrogen peroxide and soap mixture in here. I think we're gonna have better luck getting all of it into the bottle quickly with this. Three, two, one. But I only had like half a syringe in that. Yeah. We were just like, I'm out of here. That's amazing. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. But I want to switch it around. I want to have the hydrogen peroxide and soap in the bottle. Okay. And the potassium permanganate in the syringe. All right, let's try it. That looks like a mess waiting to happen. Oh wait, it is. Three, two, one. Hmm. We got a faster reaction when we poured the hydrogen peroxide into the potassium permanganate, so we're gonna go back to that and try it again. Three, two, one. Reacted less when it hit the bottle and ran down the side. All right, now we've got some of our pot perm mixture and we've got some of our hydrogen peroxide with soap in it. And we've been using this syringe and I'm going to try pulling some potassium permanganate into the syringe and then pulling some bleach into the syringe where they will probably mix immediately. And, and I I'll suspect be standing spray out. Behind the glass. Three, two, one. Oh, I, yep. I pulled in on the syringe, but it just immediately started creating foam that sprayed back out and then reacted even more. Now I've just got like purple foam now in the syringe. Now that's cool. Three, two, one. Boom, oh my gosh, it takes nothing. That looks so cool. <sighs> Toothpaste explosion. Nice. What am I holding? You are holding a balloon full of hydrogen peroxide and some blue dish soap with a little bit of yellow food coloring. It's all turned very green. And in here, I know this is the hydrogen peroxide bottle, but I actually, this one was empty. I rinsed it really well. So this one actually has the water and potassium permanganate in it. Okay. We're gonna try and fit the neck of the balloon over the neck of the bottle and then pour everything in and just see how much of this reaction we can capture inside the balloon. Yes, glasses will be a very good idea. Three, two, one. Oh no, oh no, oh no. It's a two foot <laughs> balloon, so we should have space for it to expand without a problem. The coolest part is how hot the balloon got. Yeah, it's really, well, weirdly warm up here. Yeah. Really, weirdly cool, their side. Oh, there, and there's our green. Okay, right, just green patch right there now. Cool. Green. That's a balloon full of elephant toothpaste. Now this balloon is not fully expanded. This can actually get a lot bigger, but the heat of this is what I'm concerned about now. I'm worried that's gonna mess with our balloon structural integrity here. That's awesome. Elephant toothpaste balloon. Okay, it's wait. a little slippery. <laughs> oh, no. I think it's still expanding a little bit. It is. It most of it, most is. of the reaction has happened at this point, but there's still little bits that keep finding each other and just blowing up a little bit more. The balloon's not normally supposed to have this much mass, but it's, and it's very. I think you yeah. might be right. This is getting very hot. Yeah, and see right here that that's moving. That's not us doing it. It's nope, still things expanding. Things are still expanding. I don't care about any of the clothes I'm wearing. Do you? Bye. The purple is taking over. I love it. It was it was almost no purple for a while, and now there's a lot more purple. Okay, here goes, stabbing our giant balloon. <laughs> that was great. That's a mess. Plonk, 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 plonk. 
That's horrid and I love it. Guys, if there's anything else you want to see us do with elephant toothpaste, let us know down in the comments. If you want to check out our most recent video, click that box up at the top and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.